chosen ones. Pull your popcorn out. Pull you up a seat. Grab you something to drink. Because it's about to get deep. Hit that like button. Positive Ken, the most positive man in Texas. <sighs> Living water is all we need. All praise to the Most High God, a high in the Son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. If God has been good to you, drop in the comment section, God has been great and good to me. Let's talk about it. Won't hold you long, chosen ones. But the fiery darts, the arrows, the darts that's being thrown at the chosen ones back right now. The fiery darts, the backstabbing, the talking down on God's chosen one. It's at an all-time high right now. We put a talk about it. Let's jump right into the content. Got into a little altercation today with a certain person. And I had a verbal argument, something that us chosen ones don't do. But sometimes enough is enough being the nice guy or the nice woman. With people that don't deserve our kindness. So before we jump into this man. No disrespect to the people that read their Bible every day. You know the Bible thumpers. The people but we're going to talk a little gangster and ghetto right now. <laughs> y'all might not like it man. But y'all already know. Positive Ken is one of the real ones man. And what I mean real. Real to thyself. Real to what God has for me. We ain't playing church. I hear airplane flying above my house right now. The chosen ones are being watched. We're not going to talk too much about it. We're going to jump into this content. They know it's real right now. Drop in the comment section right now. They know it's real right now that it's the chosen one's time. So today's content we're going to be talking about. Win through action and never through argument. Let's talk about it. Because the fiery darts are being thrown at the... If you ever threw darts before, you know, the little bullseye, you're throwing. You're throwing some of you that drink, some of you don't drink. You know, you get that good buzz, whatever. You're throwing them darts, and you get to hitting that target. That's how they're throwing uh, fiery darts at the chosen ones back right now. They want to uh, get us wrapped up in arguing with them, disagreeing with them. But what they don't understand, we don't care nothing about them. We are chosen by God. We don't care what you think about us. We know we chosen by the most high to do things, to do our purpose, to live our purpose, to uplift the souls and the people that are lost. That's the chosen one's job. We ain't worried about the money. We ain't worried about the success. We're not worried about any of that. But people want to get us wrapped up in we don't want to go back and say, drop this in the comment section, uh, chosen ones. We ain't for to go back and forth with you. We know who we are. God says these things I will do and even greater. You who clicked on this video, the things that God did, the son of God, Jesus, these things that you did, that God did, you will do and even greater. Like I say, Tyler, bump the Bible thumpers if you think I got it wrong or whatever. Because I've been seeing a couple negative comments trying to test positive. Ken, look, man, if I told you everything I know right now, they'll shut down this YouTube channel. So we're going to stay on topic. Please no negative comments in the uh, comment section. Because when the moderators get in, we're we getting you out of there, man. We have zero tolerance for negative comments. We don't care about what you think. You know, I love the coffee cartel telling me about positive things or how they feel. But we ain't even going to be arguing on my station. Go start your own YouTube station and you can do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to bite your head off. But it'll be some little things that sneak this in the comment section. I'm here to spread love and positivity. That's it. And live my purpose. So with that being said, we're going to avoid confrontation and arguments with these people. Went through action and never through argument. What well, the situation was, you know, this one guy came in a particular way and he, and he called me a liar. He said, you liar, you're a liar, something like that. 
And I kind of took, I kind of took it offensive. What well, I did take it offensive, because I know it wasn't lying about the situation. And it's just crazy, man, because this same person has been picking on the chosen one for a long time. But what your enemies don't know, and my enemies don't know, the floor is open. Those that are throwing the fire darts at your back are not getting away with it. Mm mm. Say it with Pilot Fires the King. Excuse me. Say, mm mm. They ain't getting away with it. They ain't getting away with it. Win through action and never through argument. The reason why you want to win through action because if you just, mm, just, just hold, hold like, like Mo3, hold your tongue, man. You know, man, long live Mo3, man. Shout, shout out to the late, great Mo3. You know, if you don't like him or whatever, you know, he's one of the rappers that I like down here in Texas, man, that passed away. But he got a song called Hold Your Tongue. And I feel that us chosen ones, we need to hold our tongue when it comes to arguing with certain people. Because certain people is not on your vibrations. They way down here as above, so below. As above, so below. We are no longer living in our lower self. We're in our higher self. That's why we can't be faded in Jesus' name. That's why we can't be faded in Jesus' mighty name. They want to go back and forth with you, but they wrong. You know why? The only, only side of the story they're going to tell is how you did them. They're not going to tell how they approached you, you know, saying something slick, saying something fly, when all the time Satan was working through that whole conversation with them, but God was on your side because God heard everything in, in that conversation, that little quarrel, that little argument. God heard it all. Touch not my anointed one. See, we go deep into it as we always say don't touch. See, a touch is just not a physical touch. Don't put, don't, don't do nothing to my anointed one. Don't put your words on them. Definitely don't put your hands on the chosen one. Don't put your words, your hands, your negative comments, anything negative. God does not want to deal with that. Because we are raising up a nation of people that are lost in this crazy, crazy world. This world is crazy. If you if this is if this message is resonating with your spirit, hit that like button and leave a comment. Said this is resonating with my spirit, positive Ken. They want to argue with the chosen one. But chosen ones, I'm here to let you know, man. Don't don't go through what I went through and waste energy. Cause that that back and forth with this person that's not even on my level was wasted energy. And I know. But I'm glad I'm not just on here talking, preaching, motivating, speaking, whatever you're doing. I'm doing it for the most high. Because it was at a time, man, that I wasn't living right, wasn't walking right. I'm not here to preach to you. I'm here to tell you real life situations. Quit arguing with your enemies, man. Don't do it. And I usually don't. But this particular one, he got up under my skin, y'all. But it's, but it's all good, man. You know, it's all good. But one thing I want to let you know, you want to win through action and never through argument. And you want to keep your goals to yourself in this season. Another way to avoid an argument, a small argument, you go tell one of your family members, hey, man, it's on, man, I've been listening to this cat, Positive Ken or whoever, what chosen one you like to listen to for the start of my YouTube, they're going to look at you like, man, you ain't going to make no money out there. First thing they're going to bring up money, and you already know. You should have held your tongue. Long live Mo 3, man. You should have held your tongue because people around you is not going to support you. You might got that 1%. All my chosen, hold up that stiff one. Say, we are chosen by the Most High God. Hold up that stiff 1%. God and my ancestors, the Holy Spirit, fill the room with this knowledge. That 1% that's going to make it. Tell that family member. Hey man, you know, I mean, I, hey man, I'm, I'm really for the golf, for the take off with this thing, you know, for to be preached, whatever, whatever your content is about. Gonna, why you gonna do that? You ain't make no money. That's stupid. Should have held your tongue. Don't argue with them, cause that's gonna be an argument that you could have saved. Just like positive Ken. See, I go through things uh, all the time, and you know, I bring it to the forefront so you don't have to make the same mistake that I made. I'm not perfect by far. But I walk by faith and not by sight. I walk by real and stay trio down here in Texas to what I'm talking about. Shout out to the whole world, man, that's listening to me. If you get this message now or later, win through action, 
and never through argument. You know, you don't have to no longer argue with your family about being chosen. They know who you are. You don't have to go back and forth with them trying to wake them up. Because one thing about woke folks, we know one thing. Take this example for us real quick, for me real quick. You're trying to wake your family up. You know, hey, man, this, this, you ain't going to be a fool, Charlotte. You know, shh, you know, hey, 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 man, you chose my Jesus Christ. They don't want to hear that. No, no, they don't want to hear that. The reason why they don't want to hear it from you chosen ones, and we're still talking about went through action, not argument, because you don't want to argue with your family about waking them up. The reason why you got two employees, both have to be to work for 5.30 a.m. or 7 or 8 o'clock. Both of them have their alarm set at the same time. The woke chosen ones, when it goes off at a certain time, being jumps up full of energy, ready to go to work. The other one, same time, get up at the same time, hit that button, but they got to go to the same place. But they waking up at different times. You can't force this wokeness or walking with God or, you know, being righteous, this change. You can't force this on your family because they're not ready for the truth, chosen ones. Quit trying to wake them up. Don't even worry about shit. I love you, chosen each and every one of you. Shout out to everybody that has shared one of my videos and share this, with, share this video on YouTube if you would. I highly appreciate it. Share this video uh, on Facebook or any platform that you have and send it to their messenger. I appreciate it. But to those that's not woke, this video is not going to help them. Just like I'm speaking Chinese. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not being racist or anything like that. You know, I'm just being real or whatever, you know, because I got all ethnic groups that watch me. You know, much respect to the whole world. But like I said, you're speaking Chinese to a person that don't want to be woke. They don't care about being woke. They don't care about God coming in their life and changing and, and being a different person so they don't have to argue. Stop trying to wake them folks up, man. Win through action and never through argument. You are chosen. Look me deep in my eyes. This is the year that your success will happen. It's going to be work to do. It's going to be pain. It's going to be a few quarrels, but you know, went through action, never through argument. It's going to be like walking through quicksand. Your stomach going to get in knots. It's going to be pain after pain after pain. But at the end of the road, it will be worth it. To much given, much is required. It's hard being a chosen one. It's hard being a man of God. It's hard being a woman of God. But you chosen by the most high God. So you've already won. I don't care if your stomach can notch right now for being hungry. Just lost your job. Just receive this message in Jesus name. Win through action and never argument. Positive Ken, the most positive man in Texas. Get this message out. Do me one favor and share this one right here. We don't got time to be arguing with low vibrational people. Peace to the next video.